late last week. Pete Nakos on three sports uh, again with us on 365 Sports. We've had Pete on before. NIL, the transfer portal, the floodgates are open. Pete, uh, 5,000, I guess, football or athletes are in the portal and 1,000 plus in football. And uh, everything, supply and demand when it comes to money, right? And so what is the supply and demand this year compared to last year for the most part when it comes to the transfer portal and also NIL? There's a lot of demand. I'm not sure about the supply. <laughs> uh, things are getting interesting. Um, as you guys have seen the last, I don't know, the last, what, it's been, man, it feels like it's been 10 days, but it's been like 24 hours. Um, there's a lot of quarterbacks in the transfer portal. There's a major need for, for quarterbacks right now. Um, but I think the other thing schools are, are really running into right now, too, and I'm sure you guys would agree, there's a reason why some of these guys are still available and they're not in the NFL. And I think some, some schools are grappling with the market. Um, and, and some quarterbacks are great. Some quarterbacks need work. And um, at the same time, I think, I think that, that it is a million dollar marketplace right now because uh, there are some bidding wars where, where, where schools need to get these quarterbacks because they don't have any other options on their, on their roster right now. Uh, so Cam Ward is your number one player in the portal. You've got him ranked. Uh, you're and I in, and help people walk through this at least a little bit. Your NIL value for him is six hundred twenty nine thousand dollars, but he'll probably get more than that where he goes, right? Yeah, I mean, uh, just from my understanding, um, yeah, I think that I think that he will definitely get more than that. Um, but I, I don't. I'm not going to name a specific number, but yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, Cam Ward is definitely arguably one of the top quarterbacks and, and we have him ranked as number one and I think his stats and background kind of back that up. When Matt Rule about three to five days ago mentioned the quarterback uh, NIL derby were his numbers close to being right or they are spot on from a million to a million five or so and maybe two million dollars? Could you repeat that? Matt Rule from Nebraska made a comment about a week yeah. ago or so about the quarterback, if you want a quarterback, it's going to cost you a million or a million and a half. And again, it depends on who you get, a Cam Ward, DJ Ugalele, whoever it might be. Uh, it, right. Was he pretty close to being correct? Yeah, I think he's spot on, actually. I think, well, two million is definitely like the high. Like mm -hmm. That is like an NFL-ready quarterback. Um, now, I think the 1 to 1.5, I think that definitely is more the wheelhouse for a lot of these collectives and things like that. Two million is a little jaw dropping, uh, to be honest with you. But I've, I've heard of a couple instances where we could be seeing that in the transfer portal this year. Pete, what do you think? Um, where do you think this is this is headed with the the? I know you heard about the the proposal from Charlie Baker in schools with um, you know, being able to directly do this. Where do you think this is headed on that regard? Man, it's been quite the day. Um, yeah, it sounds like Charlie Baker. Right, you released that letter, um, basically bringing up the idea of a, a new kind of, I guess, top tier college football. Uh, where's this all headed? I think time will tell, guys. Um, I think Charlie Baker is really forward thinking. I think we have to give kudos to him. He's definitely trying to make the NCAA something it hasn't been for a long time. Um, but I mean, you know, it's antiquated. It's going to take some time. Uh, props to props to President Baker for coming out with something really forward thinking, but. Uh, this is not going to happen overnight. Uh, there's a lot of court cases right now about employment, um, revenue sharing. How does this all shake out? Um, I think today was a step towards the NCAA trying to embrace what, what is going to happen because of the courts. Um, what the final product is, I don't think we really know. Pete, I know you're in the middle of writing a story, and right now, my God, you could write one about every other minute because of the portal wide open, which also affects NIL and vice versa. <laughs> Is Walter Nolan, I, I, we saw the note that he's entering the portal, but I saw a note from somebody who covers A&M that he hasn't yet, like, actually entered the portal. Uh, what, what would his value be in Europe? A non-quarterback like that, a great player, great talent, what would his value be? I'm not going to give you a specific dollar figure, um, but I would probably tell you seven figures. I mean... I was talking about this last night with my colleague, Andy Staples. I know you guys know yep, Andy. Yep. Um, right. Like when you think of, I'll play it, right. Even Alabama, Washington, Michigan, like 
the reason why those teams are good isn't, I mean, they have some really great skill players, but it's the trenches, right? You think about that Michigan offensive line. You think about the front seven um, uh, of Alabama. Like, having great players in the trenches, that's the difference between being, like, probably a fringe top 15 team and, like, legitimately competing for a national title. So, yeah, uh, and Walter Nolan's the best at his position, um, and, and he could transform a defensive line. So, yeah, I think he's definitely worth the value. What school has used the transfer portal the best? Oh, God. Uh, you know, I don't know if we're ready there. I think there's a, a – Louisville has really impressed me. I think they're really making some waves. Um, I think Florida State is ready to embrace it. Um, Oregon is definitely not holding back. But, yeah, I think – give me till Thursday. I think we're going to see some commitments fall in the next, like, three to five days, and I think that's when we'll really have the best idea because – um, you guys know, right? Trying to report everything, trying yeah. to track down the latest on all the top names. Uh, there, there's definitely some that will slip through the cracks and, and then just suddenly commit to a couple of schools. Are you now what is equivalent of an air traffic controller? Ooh, well, in what sense? Uh, <laughs> like, there's always yeah, a I plane mean, coming in. There's always one on the runway. There's always one landing. There's also none on the tarmac. I mean, literally, I'm trying to think of other than a traffic cop. What you do and others who follow it, it's really crazy. It, you know, the NFL, yeah. it's pretty simple. You can just kind of, you know, there's there's contracts that keep guys from doing it. In college football right now, it's just, it really can be completely wide open. I completely agree. And uh, I was talking to my one of my peers about this, like complete props to what Adam Schefter does. And I mean, that's like a dream for me. Maybe one day I'm not there yet, but like at least like, there's contracts that uh, that are in the public open. You know what I mean? Yep. Like, like mm-hmm. that. There, it's so hard to track down a legitimate value and where a kid's going to go, um, and things like that. And and yeah, I would say air traffic control. And, but you know what? That's the fun part too. Like, I love my. I truly love my job. Um, and this time of year is wacky, sure. But I mean, it's where all the action happens. You want to be part of it, and, and I'm happy I get to report on it. Pete, do you think that the uh, calendar, that the calendar in college football right now makes no sense? Like, there's, like the the amount of things that they're having to do, like prepare for a bowl game, recruit their own roster, recruit their transfer portal, rec- you know, sign high school players. That doesn't seem to be a reasonable amount of things to let human beings do all at once. Yeah, uh, I don't think. I mean, you guys uh, probably have a greater appreciation for bowl games than I do, right? I'm, I'm young. I'm 27. I, in the sense of, like, I, I just constantly think about the college football playoff these days. Mm-hmm. But, like, bowl games used to mean something. And bowl games mean utterly nothing now, right? I mean, how can you look anyone in the face and say, man, I can't wait, wait to get ready for, I don't know, the Orange Bowl mm-hmm. or the Cotton Bowl now? When the, I mean, Ohio State's going to play Missouri later this month in uh, – Arlington, and they're not going to have their starting quarterback because the portal opened on December 4th, right? I mean, the calendar is just so messed up right now, guys. I know. I know. Pete, I, I know you got a lot in your plate. We appreciate going, uh, coming on with us. We appreciate your time. Good luck following the crazy, and uh, you're doing a good job of it. Have a great day. Appreciate it. Thanks and so much, Pete guys. Pete Nakos, again with us from on3sports.com. We've